Good morning guys. Um, I'm going to teach you today how to make paint or watercolor with using either a coffee ground or a tea bag. So in this bowl I have one tablespoon of a Folgers breakfast blend coffee. It's what I drink every morning. Um, and in this cup I have just one Lipton tea bag. Um, you don't have to do this in clear bowls. That's just what I chose to do. You will need to boil some water in order to make this work. So I am using a tea kettle for that. You can also use just like putting water in a cup and putting it in the microwave for a certain amount of time. Um, the main goal is that you do not want to overfill these bowls with water because while you want to create a pigment, you don't want to actually dilute it too much and then you have an extra glass of water if you want to lighten it. So all I'm going to do is just pour a little bit in there to get this started and you'll have to wait just a few minutes to let everything steep. So I would say give it about five minutes. Okay, so I have waited about five minutes um, before I have moved on to give everything a chance to steep. But as you can see that you have a nice tea color here and the coffee has lots of grounds. Um, I'm gonna start with the tea one first to just show you what it might look like. So when you dip your paintbrush straight in it, it'll be a little bit lighter as you as you paint with it, so you might have to paint and then let it dry a little bit to get the desired effect you want. The tea stain is going to be much lighter than the coffee stain and if you let it dry and keep adding layers on top you'll get a darker color. For the coffee one, you have to be careful with the grounds. You can always take like a paper towel and strain it out to where the coffee grounds aren't in there anymore, but I like to leave the coffee grounds in because I think it helps keep the color a little bit nicer. And sometimes it's nice to have the coffee grounds on it as well. But as you can see, the coffee one already has like a little bit more of like a darker, warmer tone to it than the tea ground does. And again, as you layer it on top, same thing will happen. You can always uh, add a little water to it to like soften some edges out. These work pretty much like watercolor paint does. And now that some of my tea has dried, I'm gonna go back over it just a little bit more. So you can see how dark and rich the colors can get. And then I'm adding a little water here to smooth it out a little bit to get a different value range. And there you go.